Hi, I'm Glenn Hoskins. I'm a field engineer on TIPCO's Accelerators team. TIPCO Accelerators are reasonable bits of code that we've developed at TIPCO that sits on top of our core platform of event processing and integration. And the idea is that it helps you solve your critical business problems quicker uh, and using best practices for developing on TIPCO platforms. I'm going to talk a bit about the Connected Vehicles Accelerator today, which was our first accelerator. And it's uh, directed towards uh, industries like transportation logistics, where you need to track the movement of vehicles and how it impacts uh, the environment that it's working within. So in general, transportation logistics are interested in tracking three key resources. You have passengers and cargo, depending on the type of industry you're in. You have the crew who operate the vehicles, or might be the crew that helps service the vehicles on the ground. And you have the vehicles themselves that do the journeys from point to point. Now, all three of these key resources work together to produce what's called a trip. And a trip is a journey from A to B to C. In addition to these key resources, we have processes that help that trip happen. And what we're interested in is finding out if there's a deviation in one of these resources, how is that going to impact the other resources and the journeys that those resources take over the course of a service day? So in addition to information from these key resources, which we're going to receive as live feeds out of them, it might be GPS positions on vehicles, it might be a crew using iPads or smart devices, and it might be our passengers with a mobile apps that we might want to capture information from. We're going to gather this information together into the accelerator. Along with information about the processes as they execute. Now, of course, we also have a number of systems that are within our estate that we're interested in capturing information of as well. And these tend to be data silos where they have bits and pieces of information that are business critical, but they don't give you a holistic view of everything that's happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to capture feeds out of systems like planning, crew management, fleet management, any one of the systems that you might have, and this is by no means an exhaustive list. We're going to capture this information and we're going to bring this into the Connected Vehicles Accelerator as well. Now once we're in the accelerator, what we're going to do is we're going to build a network model inside of the accelerator which exists in a data grid, so it's an all in-memory data model. And we're going to capture these as data points inside of the data model, which is based on something called GTFS, which stands for General Transit Feed Specification. Now once we've captured this information, we need to discover patterns within it, and we need to identify deviations from what we expect to happen. And what we're going to do is we're going to use things like decision tables and rules in order to do that. And once we detect a deviation from what we expect, then we're going to produce outputs that we can then capture that information and take action in response to it. This might be in the form of advisories that we send to our operation staff so that they can take corrective action. It might be alerts that we send to the outside world so our customers and our partners know things aren't going to plan. And it might be automated actions themselves, so take corrective action in response to certain situations. And of course, in addition to this information, we have a view of it as well in true real time on an operations dashboard where our operations staff can see uh, the network model update in true real time and also analytics where we can hook it up directly into the network model, scoop that information out in near real time and do analytics on it and find out how our business isn't operating. And of course, the idea behind this is it helps optimize the, the network model of the transportation logistics industries and also allow them to minimize disruption and thereby improve the um, experience of their passengers, customers, and uh, partners. Thank you.